history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Patriots and the Dolphins on EA Sports. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, there's nothing quite like it. That feeling of beginning another NFL season, and these two squads are going to do just that in a moment. And what makes it so exciting is the range of possibilities these teams have before them because we could be seeing one of these teams earn the Lombardi Trophy in February, while the other, they could earn the number one draft pick in April or anything in between. And we've got the best seed in the house every step of the way. Set for football now on a rainy Sunday afternoon. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. And leading him out is their rookie quarterback, the young man out of Alabama. And to say that this is a big spot is the classic understatement. It's a ton of pressure on this rookie quarterback as he gets to play right away. And let's face it, he's trying to take in every moment from his first start. But at the same time, he's got to focus on what's in front of him. Throws a quick hitter on the slant. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Just need a yard here. Second and one. They'll run it. This is Ramondre Stevenson. And Stevenson's going to have a Patriots first down as they get this to the 44-yard line. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. They'll look to throw here on first down. Hunter Henry brings it in. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and two. On play action, they'll throw. To the right side and intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. I'm not sure that you can say that the rain caused that interception, but look, it's clear that throwing the football is going to be tough in these conditions. No doubt about it, and different quarterbacks handle it different ways. Some guys think the rain isn't a big deal, but wind affects them a little bit more. But you have to wonder, will these conditions hold scoring down? Are we going to have like a 9-6 to six type of a game? And then the pressure goes on the punters who often hold for field goal attempts. Can they handle the snap and get the ball down so they can kick it? So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for him. And this is caught. And on the way in for a Miami touchdown. A great effort there. 57 yards. And the Dolphins are on the board here first in the season opener. Good throw there. And I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason. And what I mean by that is understanding the playbook not just the plays and how to execute them but how to do it against a variety of defenses also understands his team better what they can and cannot do you can see the confidence rising in him as he plays and he's up across the 25 and down at the 28 so back onto the field come the pats for their second drive and threw an interception the first time they had the football. Wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. 
And a good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down at seven. Looking to throw. And that'll be complete to Stevenson. No gain on the play. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Taken from just outside the 30. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And it'll be Dolphin football. So Miami coming out for their second drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Two yards to go, second down. He'll look to throw, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Blitz forthcoming as he'll look to throw. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. In motion, Hill. Now fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Second and nine. They'll set up to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll leave them with a third and just a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they get five there on third and two. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. So he'll be stopped here for no gain, and it'll be second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And the ball is knocked out. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was, because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be first and goal. Yeah, the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, the plays happen, let it go. It's over. Instead, he creates a pass. Touchdown! A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ballgame. 
So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? <laughs> turnover, you just noted it. Punt's, on the better. Drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. Second and five, as they've got it as we resume action. Short pass caught by Henry. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Third and five. And the slot man goes in motion left. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Back to throw again. And that's incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, there's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. In motion comes the tight end left. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Checking this down to Stevenson. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. And we constantly talk about people being on the same page. In this situation, the two of them saw the play with the same eyes. They understood where the open spaces were going to be. And they found a way to get there to pick up a new set of downs. And some space here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Uh, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. They go play action here on first down. They'll get just a yard on the scramble at second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. His throw incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you definitely got to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Bind, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. But the goal is to get back into this game. The offense is certainly moving in the wrong direction. This is certainly a case where one team needs big splash plays right now, but unfortunately, it's the other team that's getting them. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them, that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, 
You're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. And out come the Dolphins now. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? He said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. Second and one. That's out to and Hill is going to have the Dolphins first down as he's up to the 45. Back to throw. And he slings one that's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt, and the Patriots take over. New England's offense set to go. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. The tight end, Henry, here in motion. Second and 13. Short pass caught by Henry. And he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. Here's Bryce Berenger now. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. It's taken to the 26. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And they will take over first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. They'll look to throw again. 
And he will find his man on the outside. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. They'll look to throw here. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Looking middle, and that's complete. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. They were stopped last time from the one. Now here's another try on third and goal. They'll look to throw. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Dolphins are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play you would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Pats going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. I call it no gain there on the first down play. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily, you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. The goal of anyone running a curl route is to make sure you try and get defenders on your back and shield them away from the football. But sometimes even when you run a good route, the defense finds a way to knock it away. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Here's Bryce Barringer on now to punt. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll get things started up at Ford Field in Detroit. And in the late stages of the first half, it's the Lions who are out in front. Jalen Waddle, a touchdown reception. Next, we'll head over to check on the Giants at home at MetLife Stadium. And they've got the lead over the visiting Chicago Bears. The Giants seem to be on their way to what would be a good victory. Lastly, let's get you to Charlotte, North Carolina. Check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. 
And they lead the visiting Browns in that one at halftime. Brees Hall with a touchdown run. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. And that'll be incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. But pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive? I think they just crossed it on that one. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. They'll come out throwing here on first down. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face the challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Now Brown, oh, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. All these years we've been watching the game, I start to get the sense that whenever it rains out, those guys have to touch the ball and carry it. They're extremely resentful about that weather. Yeah, I'm just happy I'm not resentful that we have a roof over our heads. I know that much. Yeah, maybe we won't fumble our play sheets here <laughs> as we just saw the fumble happen on the field. So first and 10 now from the 30. In motion, Hill. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to take another shot here. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Now these are the situations that really test the defense, those sudden changes. They're already inside field goal range to start the possession. Their goal now? Keep it to a long kick if indeed they end up trying one. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. 
That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. A bullet throw, but incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. The kick by Elliott is good. And the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's 24-3. to three. So they got the turnover started with great field position, but in the end, the defense able to hold firm, and they only get three out of it. And I like what you said right there, that defense able to hold firm, backed up into the shadow of their own end zone. The goal post right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six. And boy, they came through in a big way. To them, even though they gave up three, that's a win for their side. New England trying to get to place on offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Here's a second and seven. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Baker. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. It's complete to Brown, right side. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Here's second and three. And motion left goes a tight end. Second and three. Short pass caught by Henry. And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he's across midfield to the 48. An eight-yard pickup. And the Patriots first down. Shoves him aside. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On play action, they'll throw. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Eluding the pressure right, and he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. 
Here's Chad Ryland now on for the field goal. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. And this one is right down the middle. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football. It's also Dolphin lead to begin quarter number four. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten at their own 43. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Multiple rushers break through to drop him for the seventh time this game. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't it? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hadn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. He'll look to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to make it fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other the Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. So now here come the Dolphins. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. Down at the 35, it'll be second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. 
They'll drop to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It'll be a gain of just a yard. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. In motion, Hill. Back to throw here. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. Well, Charles, the NFL record is 66 yards. That was five shy of that, but only a handful of guys have ever connected from 61 or deeper, and he can add his name to the list. Yeah, more and more guys are trying it. That doesn't mean the success rate has gone up. That is a long kick. Guaranteed, when he turns on his phone after the game, a ton of congratulatory texts will be awaiting him. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And this will be caught by Brown. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. He'll look to throw. Caught here by Bell. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A nice completion there for the first down. And, Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. The best part about his game has his team run the brink of the playoffs. And Deshaun Watson has won division titles after having started from day one. And Brown's got it. Touchdown, New England. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit. And they've got a puncher's chance. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Dolphins are going to recover. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an outside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That good for 19 of the first down. And what a tough spot for this defense because they know it's coming, but they're just powerless to stop it. What a great run there to start the drive. And you can bet there'll be more where that came from as they try to ice this game away. In motion, Hill. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Now a handoff looking right. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. A great play there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Dolphins are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. 
Elliott good on the extra point and the lead down to three touchdowns in 21. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. Oh, a good look in return set up here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35 yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. Over the middle complete. That's Baker. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. They'll set up to throw. Short pass caught by Henry. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They're going to look to throw. On the move past the 40. And finally down at the 32-yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. He'll drop to throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth, but a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is good. And it's intercepted at the goal line. point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A heck of a play there defensively getting the interception navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Crease here as he's past the 30. The Patriots offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And this is caught. It's Brown. A big play there for New England, 46 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now back to throw. 
This is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. A.J. Brown. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Patriots get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Ryland on for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead back now to 21. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. And this will wind up way short of the landing zone, so that's going to move the ball all the way up to the 40-yard line. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in Week 1. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for Miami, that'll be a happy locker room as they start the season 1-0. And they'll get another home date next week as the Raiders will come to town. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel up to Detroit to take on the Lions. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn.